right. We're doing pretty good. Okay. We got one more to go on this. And we're making progress. I hope I'm keeping track of the clock here. I got a 10 minute limit on these videos, so I've got to get it done. Or otherwise, I'll have to split the video in half. And I don't think the splitting works quite as good as just the straight video. But, okay. Like I say, try to have everything prepared. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold it for a few seconds. All right, we did well. Okay, let me get this thing back over here again. Well, we've already prepared, so we have two for two. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert these spokes and we get one for each one of them and I made a little hole right here you can't see it but this is so that after I do the first one I can just put that down so it's not going to slide around on me when we move on to the rest of we have eight of these to do so we can start that right off it shouldn't take just a little bit make sure we're putting the right end I've got the slot on this end and this end goes in and this is schedule 80 it's no longer schedule 40 Schedule 40 didn't fit very well with half-inch fiberglass rods, so uh, I found out Schedule 80 is a perfect fit, and so by doing this, everything will be good and solid, and it won't be no flopping around and no messing around with uh, little plastic pipe as spacers. The first one I did, I really struggled to fix the problem, but I found that Schedule 80 works does an excellent job so that's what we're going to use if we go on and build any more of these let's just see what we got here all right normally when you use PVC cement with PVC pipe as you're preparing them when you're putting joints together in plumbing work usually people put those on they give it a good twist after they get it seeded where they want it and this kind of spreads the cement around but these are so tight that I don't really have the time to give it a twist. And so I'd like to make sure I have plenty of cement in there so that all the areas are covered. Okay, let's see how my little invention here works. Let's slide that down the hole. All right. And let's move on to the rest. You see, it's not that complicated. This is actually the easy part of the two things. Just give that a good swab inside. Swab this right here, and let's see what we got. All right, and these spokes are 15 inches long. The original version, all right, were 12 inches long, and 12 inches are good for 10 meters, but you need a little bit more support. 27 megahertz, the uh, thing is got a little bit bigger and you need a little more, there's a little bit more stress on it so I increased the size to 15 inches so this, with the 15 inch ones we can uh, use it for both uh, 10 meters and 11 meters so you can switch it back and forth just by changing the wire and the position of the five glass rods so uh, it kind of makes more sense to make it more universal unless you strictly know you're just going to be using it for 10 meters and then it's all right to, to use the 12 inch length. Uh, I think we're running out of time here and I got to speed up the process just a little bit so we can finish these up. All right, there's number one and let's see if we can get through the last one here. Let's Okay. And it's amazing how much of the cement you go through. I guess there's more surface area than I thought there was. So we get that on there. All right. Up here. And whatever you do. Don't spill your can of cement. It would make a real mess. Okay. 
that I really like working with is PVC. I mean, this stuff is unbelievable how solid it makes us. It just it bonds the two materials together. It's more than just a glue. It actually eats and, and mixes, commingles. I guess that's why you only have a few seconds to really get the, get the thing done. And you need to have everything lined up. Right. Yeah, that is rock solid once it seats itself and that cement has a chance to react. Okay. Well, we have one left. We're doing very good. I think we might make it. We're getting close to the 10 minute mark here. YouTube is very good about posting these videos and I can understand why they have a 10 minute limit because otherwise everything would be 15, 20, 30 minutes so they have to put a control someplace so I guess. Alright, and that's it. It's not really complicated. If you've never used PVC before that should uh, explain it a little bit more and it really isn't that big of a deal. Just have to have everything prepared before you start. And I'm going to back this off. Let me widen this out a little bit so you can see my face. Okay, uh, on the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take the five glass rods and we've got the black two inch tips and we're going to use a uh, hot glue gun and install those tips. And that pretty much will bring an end to all the preparation that needs to be done before this uh, quad can be assembled. And I have a new piece of test equipment coming that I want to use to uh, line up everything, uh, make sure that it's where it's supposed to be, that I, that I did to cut the thing right. Uh, so I'm anxious to get that piece of test equipment in the, in the mail. Uh, it should be a couple more days. And, but we are going to do the uh, tips in the next episode. And so